All-Star Halo, brought to you in part by Noble L Works, just outside of Anaheim Stadium and the Pond, or the Honda Center, where you can get drink specials just by mentioning Halos in the infield. Also brought to you in part by 714 Tickets. 714 Tickets. 714 Tickets is a place to go to get 10% off of any ticket purchase just by also mentioning H-I-T-I, Halos in the infield. Now enjoy the show. Live every night on the Halos in the Infield Baseball Network. Welcome to the Halos in the Infield post-game podcast with Todd Fox, sponsored by Noble Ale Works Brewery, as well as 714 Tickets. This is your nightly destination for all things Los Angeles Angels. Come join Todd as he recaps every thrilling and disappointing moment from tonight's game, win or lose. Get ready for insightful analysis, fan reactions, and Todd's engaging commentary. Plus, fans can call in live to the Halo Hotline to have their voices and opinions heard as well. It's the Halo Hotline. Stay tuned in for your chance to win free Halo's merchandise with our weekly trivia. It's time to dive into the heart of Angels baseball with Todd Fox on the Halos in the infield post-game podcast. There's a drive from Mike Trout. See you later. That is long gone. It's the Todd Fox post-game podcast with your host, Todd Fox. Hey, 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 welcome into another episode of the Todd Fox post-game show here on the Halos in the infield Baseball Network is the Angels get the dub tonight, tonight, and beat those Boston Red Sox. The Chowdaheads beat them 2-1 to one in the most unlikely win of the season so far. First off, Reed Detmers followed up that great start in Baltimore with an even better start here tonight in front of the home crowd, giving them their first win of the season, winning 2-1 to one in a dramatic fashion. He gets the W thanks to one Anthony Rendon. Yes, that Anthony Rendon, known as Ass. And number six, number six, known as Ass, came through with an unlikely hit. Now, I was the Halo honk tonight, got on TV a couple times. That was freaking awesome. And uh, had a lot of love, passed out a lot of shit tonight. I had a great time. I drank way too much, got too many free things myself. And I'm drinking water to try to, uh, you know, get past the whole, like, uh, lightheadedness. So you're going to have to bear with me. But Angels got the win tonight and win uh, a a nice one, two to one. Uh, You know, there was a couple times where the Angels actually could have put this one away. They left a lot of guys on base tonight. Uh, I I believe it was 11. I might be wrong on that. But Trout himself left five guys on base, dude. That was pretty bad. He came up with the bases loaded one time and two men on the next Left them all on, and the Angels, uh, you know, left some runs out there. Reed Detmers was dealing from the get go. He struck out the side in the first and the second inning, and got this Angels team off to a, you know, at least pitching wise and defense off to a good start. The problem is the Angels couldn't get anything going after that. It was just quiet and it stayed quiet. And, you know, the Wong guy scored to quote one grill master because the scoring was in the third inning. Duran singled to left. Wong scored and it was one nothing Red Sox. And it stayed that way for the for three or four more innings to the sixth inning. And then the Angels get, you know, uh, the bases loaded, and you're thinking, damn, Rendon's up here. And I was, uh, you know, Steve Lees was telling me, you know, I wonder if he's going to win the game for us or he's going to come through, watch him come through with a big clutch hit, or can we get a grand slam on consecutive nights? And it wasn't to be with a grand slam. When he hit it, it was hilarious because it was just a routine chopper to, to, to the third baseman. And for whatever reason, Devers backed up and played it as if it was a line driver coming off the bat at about 150 miles per hour. And because he did that, the ball took a little bit of a wicked hop, and it bounced an extra time. You're always taught as an infielder to charge the ball. It's never good to backpedal and try to play a ball off the bounce unless it's a screamer. You know what I mean? And he tried to play it off a of bounce, and it went but you know over his glove and into left field, two runs scored, and that was the difference. And... You know, lucky for him, you know, uh, for Detmers anyway, that he went those six innings, pitched those pitches. You know, he would have got a tough luck loss or no decision. 
But thanks to those two runs, not all by Rendon. I'm not giving him credit. No, I'm not. He needs to hit a solid, you know, base hit or double. When he got a hit, there was like an, a sarcastic hit earlier in the game, you know, clap for him. Because, I mean, the Angels didn't really tear it up. I mean, they did a great job, or, or the, the uh, Red Sox did a good job, too, pitching. You know, Whitlock pitched four and a third, four strikeouts. His problem was walks. He gave the Angels ample opportunities to score. But, you know, I'm not going to give credit where Rendon is because that should have been an easy out. Should have ended the inning easily. Should have been... Devers grabbing that ball, charging it, throwing it to second or throwing it to first, and it should have been the end of the inning. But either way, that helped. The bullpen did great. Simber came in for an inning. Uh, you like what you saw from the uh, from Moore coming in the eighth inning, and then Estevez shut the door one, two, three in the ninth inning. Again, the bullpen, Simber only threw 19 pitches. Moore only threw th 13 pitches, eight of which were strikes. Carlos Estevez threw 10, uh, 15 pitches, 10 of which were strikes. So, again, the bullpen did a great job. You got a total of 14 strikeouts. Problem for the Angels tonight is, again, double-digit strikeouts themselves. They had 10 strikeouts, left too many guys on. But, hey, again, you you did what you did. Uh, over two with Mike Trout leaving five guys on. Moniak had an opportunity. They were one for seven with runners in scoring position tonight. But again, they got the job done either way. I mean, again, they were able to the pitching gave the offense ample opportunity. And then how about the play of the night? The play of the night was Matt Moore getting the first two outs and then a fly ball to center field, which most likely should have been a double. It wouldn't have left the park, but Kudos to Mike Trout making a hell of a catch in center field, robbing a double, extra bases, and continuing the inning. Who knows? Boston gets a single. They tie the game up. But no, Mike Nelson Trout wasn't doing it with a bat, so he did it with his glove. So what a hell of a play tonight to help the Angels get that big W and, again, move to 5-3. Five and uh, five and three while the Red Sox dropped to 6-3. and three. And again, so the first, through, through the first eight games so far, I believe there's been dramatic change. Uh, in this game, you saw a couple challenges due to stolen bases, uh, either being caught or not. It was a little close. You saw Anthony Rendon try to steal a bag. Um, it, it was. It's nice to see now. Now, with Rendon stealing base, what does that tell the other teams? Not like Numb Nuts Nevin, not like uh, Smoking Joe. You're, you're seeing the fact that, hey, this team can do anything at any point. They could run whoever's on the base. What I saw, too, tonight, again, there was a Logan O'Hoppy fly ball to center field or left center field. Routine pop-up. By the time Devers made the catch in shallow left field, O'Hoppy was two steps from second base. What does that tell you? That tells you that these guys are hustling, that there's, you know, we're seeing hustle play like last night from Rendon getting an infield single. Uh, you're seeing guys just pushing it. Uh, and, and that's great. There's a change in mentality. This team doesn't look as lazy as it has in the last few years. The pitching's been much better. Uh, you know, I'm liking what I've seen. So, you know, this is this is really uh, I'm really liking that the Angels are are really playing with a more of a desire this season. They're playing with more. And I'll get to the comments. By the way, I see the comments lighten up. I'll get to that. But you're seeing the Angels play at a at a different level. And it's very nice to see tonight. The crowd atmosphere was great. They lit up when they got that little air. I mean, an air is an air. We'll take the runs either way. As far as my getup, I'm going as the Halo Honk. I had to sell the team shirt. Uh, you know, uh, it, it was a great night. Got a lot of pictures. Got on TV. Uh, there was just a you know a lot of people being very nice, taking uh, you know again tagging us and whatnot. So it was the Halo Honk, and I had my assistant Paulo out there. He was the Honk number two. So there was two clowns clowning around out there. It was it was awfully nice. So uh, the get up worked, uh, and and it was it was just a fun night altogether. We passed out a bunch of thunder sticks to a lot of kids. We passed out a lot of stickers. The kids loved it. It was really fun. I had a fun time scaring some people who were scared of clowns. That was great. So uh, what a great time. We also had a barbecue in the parking lot, so that was nice. Uh, so, again, um, great great game tonight. Great uh, fan uh, fandom tonight by everybody uh, joining in. So, again, all in all, good night for everybody. The Angels get the W. That's the most important thing. 
So with that being said, hopefully you can hear the sound bites. I think I fixed the soundboard. You're going to have to give me a yay or a nay if you can hear this. If it comes out loud enough at all. So I'm hoping that it is because I can hear it on my end. So hopefully we got the sound bites going because if that that's the case, then I'll have to struggle with the uh, the comments. So that's that's what I'm hoping. It says it's it's not loud, it's low. Ooh, okay. So I'll have to check. I'll have to uh, see if I can get the sound up a little bit more on that. Uh, let me see. Maybe I could fix this right now on the fly if I can. Let's see. I'll see if I can do it. If not, it is what it is. Let's see if this one comes out better. If if not, uh, it's still got work to do. So there you go. So the Angels get the W. Let's get into the awards tonight. Uh, let's get into first the John, the John Stamos Award for best player on the field. Let's see who it is. The John Stamos Award goes to Reed Detmers. Absolutely. Who else are you going to give it to? I mean, you could throw in Mike Trout's game-saving uh, tying catch or whatever if you want to think it's a home run or a double-saving. But easily, again, Reed Detmers is 2-for-2 two two out the gates, getting the W tonight, going to 2-0. and oh. Uh, he was outstanding tonight. 12 strikeouts. His pitches were dancing all around the strike zone. And in the strike zone, they were fooling batters. His fastball was on point. His breaking pitches were great. Uh, he made some hitters look absolutely terrible out there. So great, great night for him. Now let's talk about who was the worst player on the field. Who got them nachos? I love them nachos. Gas station nachos. I love the nachos, yeah. Yes, nachos. Ow. Ow. The Nacho Night Award goes to Rafael Devers tonight. Not only did he go 0 for 4 on the evening, but uh, Rafael Devers, uh, he, or actually he went 1 for 4. He had a strikeout, only batting 207, but he made that costly, costly air to Rendon't. And that was the reason why the Angels won tonight. It was <laughs> that that is absolutely. I mean, again, it would have been a sucky way to lose if Devers gets that ball, throws it in. The Angels really didn't have a rally past that. So it looked like if the Angels didn't score that inning, the Angels would have lost one to nothing, most likely. Most likely would have saw Kay Kelly Jansen getting a second consecutive save. Instead, we got Carlos Estevez closing the door for the Angels, the bullpen doing a great job and really picking up Reed Detmere. So if you don't want to give Rendon credit like me, go for it. If you want to give him credit, hey, it's fine too. I'm not going to hate on it. Uh, the win's a win's a win, and I love the fact the Angels got a W every time they could beat Boston. It's great. So Angels win and uh, get the W. Oh, I got to change that right now. They did not win 8-6. to six. They won 2-1. to one. Uh, So let me fix that real quick. I did not uh, fix that here. Angels win 2-1. Two, two, so that, that's what happens when you drink too much. You think you got everything set. There you go. There were winning pitchers up there. Reed Detmers, uh, Wissert, well, however you want to say his name, gets the loss in relief. He, uh, four walks right there. So that didn't help the cause for him. So let's get into some of these comments. It is a bit of a late uh, post game. And we'll start off with Infinite One saying, Infinite 91 saying, we'll take the win any way we can get it. Uh, Brian checks in with Rendon with a clutch hit tonight. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Ray Ochoa said, what a difference this team is with an actual coaching staff. Absolutely. We've waited a long time since goddamn Sosha to, to have a competent, competent coaching staff. And if you look at the guys they have in the bullpen, bullpen coaches, other coaches that, that, that have helped the team, I, I I like the former. If you look into a lot of these dudes are former major leaguers. The fact you bring on Tory Hunter, now Tory Hunter is assistant to the GMs. That's so this guy Tory Hunter has been wanting to be a part of the Angels organization for some time now. He wanted a crack at the coaching staff for whatever reason. They're like, hey, you're not ready for it yet. So he's a front office guy now. I'm totally cool with that. Tory Hunter is someone that just bleeds and you know like like just. 
he shines. He's a person you want to be around. He's a person that's infectious with a, you know, like like he he's a good person. And, and and I've never heard a bad word about Tory Hunter. He's a great guy in the clubhouse. Absolutely a wise choice to bring him on. And uh, I'm looking forward to what he can offer this organization, helping them out despite the piece of shit in charge, Artie Moreno. Uh, let's see. Yvette says, uh, do you believe in miracles? Uh, I'm starting to a little bit. I know it's the first weekend or whatever, but hey, there you go. Maddie Matt says, let's hear the Rend uh, Rendon. Uh, let's hear it for Rendon. Laugh out loud. Give this dude some love. No, I can't. You know that, Maddie Matt. Dan Rio says, light that baby up. Great meeting you at the stadium. Yeah, I just wish we had more time to hang out. Uh, I was kind of stuck in the middle of that section down below, so... Danny909 says, Moniac's zero average going under the radar. Thanks to Rendon, he needs to wake the F up. He does. And he couldn't even lay down a bunt the other night, so he's got to get that going. Uh, Yvette says, my superstitious mind says you can't change your look. Uh-oh, this is going to be hard. It's going to be hard enough right now when the show's over to take a shower and wipe this stuff off, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you. Dan says, was Rendon's hit? With a base is loaded, a hit or an error. It was an error. MLB has lately been screwing up these calls. Nolan's streak ended on a call that was changed from Baltimore series. Total BS. Yeah, we saw that last night. I thought it was a joke. And then when everyone was confirming it, I'm like, that is some bullshit. How you could change something a night or two later. It's so dumb. It's already in the books, man. Leave it how it is. Um, also, Yvette says, so can Armando Galarraga get his perfect game back? Unfortunately... No, we don't fix those things. We we spend the time to do the other. Brian says that was an error, not a hit for Rendon. No way that's a hit. Yeah, it wasn't a hit. Brian Norris says, saw you at the big screen, then they cut away real fast. <laughs> you know why? Because I showed the shirt. I showed the shirt, and they were like, nope, can't put that on there. What's with the conf, uh, costume, uh, Griffin Canning? I'm making fun of Halo Honk, so I have uh, Halo Honk on the back in number 69. So, balls, balls, and we won. Let's see if we can get that to work right now with the balls, balls. Uh, well, we got the season starting tonight. Where is that Roger clip here? I got to find that balls, balls one. Uh, oh, here it is. Tonight, it's time for you to it is low. What I want. I want balls and balls and John Stamos. Eddie says, can you show me your honk? <laughs> no, uh, that's for my girl. Uh, see, also show us the sell the team shirt. Let me show you right here if you guys like this. Oh, yeah, sell the team. And then, oh, uh, yeah. Halo honk, baby. That's what I was rocking tonight. All that barbecue and then freaking all those beers, man. I'm, I'm toasted right now. But I promise you, this is water. This is water, so no more beer. Uh, Ian says, uh, "Quiet, sorry about that. Uh, it is low. I gotta fix. I gotta fix that. I gotta figure out how that works." Uh, Yvette says, "Finally, small ball, smart baseball, not depending on uh, norm of new baseball or new baseball." Leaf says, "Wayne Randazzo went off on MLB during the broadcast, and I'm all for it." Oh, I wish I could see what he said. Uh, not loud at all. Halo Joe says nay. So, geez, I got to fix that. So, it, it, it's a work in progress, people. It's a work in progress because, again, I, I can't. I'm trying to work this system in. It's a it's a different third party thing where I'm trying to get the soundboard in. Because if I use the one on here, I have to get off of uh, what he caught the uh, the messages to get to him. And I like having them on my left screen. So I could just do my soundboard, but the soundboard on the left screen isn't working. But if I play it through here, you can hear it. Unless you can't hear that either. That's kind of low. And balls and John Stamos. I don't know if that's better. I don't know. We'll we'll just have to go without it. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, let's get into a few more comments here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I, I missed that one right there. Uh, let's see. Demetrio says, Todd Fox, let's freaking go. Go Halos. We going to uh, we going to win this series this year. We going to the ship, or, or I think he means the World Series. Uh, no better. Let's see. Mas, no menos. So Stukas will be quiet. Yes, Stukas is low. So we'll just have to wait on that one. I'll try again tomorrow. Great, great gate. <laughs> Moon Man says, great game, but took 50 minutes to get out of the damn park. Second night in a row, huh? Because uh, it took us an hour the other night, too. Thumbs up on the YouTube video already, clowns. Thank you, Brian. The Red Sox couldn't read Detmers. Oh, I like what you did there, Mateo. 
Leaf says Nacho should go to whoever overturned that hit and made an error. That should be, yeah. Michael says, Todd, what a difference a Barry Enright makes. Sheesh, Detmers. Exactly. Good coaching helps good players or average players become better. It's a proven fact. And when you have numb nuts, Nevin, not giving a shit, not working these guys, you had Smoke and Joe saying, what's practice? We don't need to do batting practice. Letting divas like Otani do whatever the hell they want to and push guys back out of their routine because he doesn't want to pitch in New York or he doesn't want to pitch every five days. It's every six days. All kinds of crap that this team had to put up with. The otani era for me is starting off pretty nice. Now, it can go haywire. There's no doubt. But for right now, I'm enjoying the ride. And again, I'm not looking ahead to May or June or July. I'm just looking ahead till tomorrow. Let's see what happens tomorrow. And if the Angels get a dub, hey, there you go. You're six and three out the gate. Nice, good start. And then Tampa rolls around. I'm no longer going to be this Angel fan that looks 15, 20 games ahead. I'm going to look at the schedule and say, hey, you know what? This nice little calendar we got from Farty. It shows us who we play. We play a lot of interesting teams. We don't play our division till June for the most part, or, you know, or May. And, and it's like it's a weird start, but hey, it's cool. You know, we go to Pittsburgh, stuff like that. It's it's interesting, right? But I'm not going to be the, this fan that says, "Oh, you know, I got to know, you know, I got to uh, uh, project what we're going to do because so many things can happen. Injuries can happen. Uh, guys could get hot. Guys could get cold. But for right now, the way they're playing, the way they're being coached. There is a different feel to this team, and I think you're starting to see it uh, when I'm walking around the stands. The chatter is a little bit better. People are believing a little bit more, so I'm happy. I'm happy out the gate. Uh, we'll see what happens. Like I said, it's it's a game-by-game basis, but I'm all in right now. I'm feeling really good about the team. I'm not going to be like, Trent Rushing go, hey, this team is World Series. Hey, I like this playoff. I still don't think they're going to make the playoffs. I really don't, but for right now, like I said, I'm enjoying the ride, and it just doesn't look like, you know, you have these numb nuts that think that, oh, we're going to trade for all these guys at the deadline. It's like, what pieces, bro? You didn't stock up your 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 farm system. You got to wait till some of these guys ferment, and you didn't sign any free agents to flip them. So, again, we're literally working with what we got, and that's all we're going to have, and if you guys think that this team's anywhere close to the postseason – and we're going to try to you know, move some pieces, it'll be detrimental to the team to do so. It'll be a stupid short-term uh, you know, fix, and it could go as bad as it did last season, losing those, those players for absolutely nothing, for rentals for weeks. Angels Grandma checks in. I'm going to the game tomorrow afternoon, hoping our Angels win the series and hoping that Joe Adele gets a chance to play. I will tell you this, Angels Grandma, he's going to play tomorrow. Book it. For right now, Ron Washington's playing him on the third game of every series, so I guarantee you he's going to play tomorrow. He, he's going to play. And the Red Sox fans are assholes, not uh, uh, as bad as Doyer fans, but they're very bad, Dan Rio says. Halo Joe says, I'm getting very excited. Mateo says, MLB is an absolute joke. Overturning Sean Wells' hit for an error is absurdity. Exactly. Moonman says, fire the field umpire. He blew two stolen base calls tonight. Yeah, it was bad. And the one that Renifo was, Renifo was clearly safe. I mean, I know it was a little bit of a bang bang, but still, dude. I mean, there, I would have thought he would have erred on the side of safe other than out. Moonman says uh, also, or no, Eddie Perez says Tori Hunter is the last Infinity Stone. <laughs> I don't know. I think we need a few more stones. He's maybe the first one, or after Ron Washington, actually second. How do you think Tori Hunter will have done as the Angel skipper? I don't know if he would have did good. I think he would have been a good bench coach to have, absolutely a good bench coach, or even possibly a hitting coach. I would have been really fine with Tori Hunter being a coach in on those levels. I don't think you could just jump into a manager. I don't care how good you are. I think you need some sort of background, some sort of resume, uh, you know, like a like Yadier Molina when he coached the World Baseball Classic team. He was he thought he was the shit, and then he was humbled very much so because they struggled in the World Baseball Classic. He he thought because of his knowledge and him being a catcher, him knowing the game of baseball, he would jump right into it and start winning right away. And he was told or he was uh, quoted right after the world baseball classic like i was in over my head i still have a lot to learn i do want to be a manager someday i'm just not ready and that's good he he got he he got a little bit of, of what he needed to do as far as learning the basics of being a manager and 
there's no doubt one day he probably will be a good manager. So, but but you know he he needs to learn, and, and I think Tory Hunter getting himself in as a GM, maybe the coaching thing wasn't for him, and maybe it's in the front office. So I'm I'm cool with that. Maybe he's our next GM because Perry isn't signed through next year. So there you go. Uh, also, nothing better than beating Boston, New York, the Dodgers, and Houston. I agree with that, Michael. Louis714 says this team is nothing like last year's team where they would uh, just give up. They have a fight in them. That's true. I, I second that a thousand times uh, that, that you know, last year's team would have rolled over and died last night and they would have not scored anything tonight. Uh, and and they wouldn't have been pressuring. The Angels are pressuring. They're stealing bases. They're attempting stolen bases. The defense looks really legit, so I like what I'm seeing. Angels Grandma says, congrats to Tory Hunter. See what happens when you put the ball in play, Silent E says. I said it all last year. Just hit the ball and see what happens. Let the defense make mistakes. And that's another way to get runs like tonight. Exactly. Wayne Randazzo cooked the MLB tonight. Oh, that's that's good. I, I didn't get a chance to hear that. I like how Wayne Randazzo uh, ripped the MLB a new one. Uh, T. Shane says, hey, Todd, big fan of the show. What are your thoughts on Shauna Will decision and also the controversy with her ex-girlfriend and the Dodgers fans who uh, who uh, were, were done dirty? I'll tell you this. I heard an interesting take about uh, about our ex girlfriend Otani, as far as what he did to the uh, the Chicago fan. He he was quoted as saying that he went down there to meet them and personally hand them over that stuff. That was not true. And there was somebody that said on their Chicago radio, well, if he can lie about that stuff, makes you think about the gambling thing, even if you didn't think it was all that true. And it smells fishy and. And a lot of fans are, are kind of turning their backs on Otani a little bit because of that whole thing. And they're hoping right now, MLB's hoping that it gets swiped, you know, sweeped under the rug and that their golden boy can, can continue to shine because if you look at your, your feed, although he's not an angel, he's all over it. And the MLB is gushing over this guy unlike anything I've ever seen before. They've ne they never did that when he was an angel, even when he was going on those hot streaks and doing the things he was doing here in Anaheim. they never done that. So I still think that there's something super fishy. I still think that he pays the fall guy. I think that, uh, that, that Otani knew more than he was. If at least he made those wire transfers with maybe if it was all he pay, in good grace for him, but that still makes you guilty in MLB's bargaining collective bargaining agreement. So he should get suspended, and at at the and you know he's not going to be prosecuted federally, but the, he broke the rule, you know. So he's not going to do no jail time. It, if anyone does jail time, it will be the proof of Epe stealing. If they can prove it, then he goes to federal court, and then he could be prosecuted big time. But when, as far as Otani, Otani just broke the MLB rules, so he should get suspended. I mean, and if he doesn't, that's that's bullshit in my in my opinion. And I would love to see it only because he's a Dodger. Again, if Otani goes any other place, when they show that montage the other day, he's getting a standing ovation. But the fact that he went to the Dodgers, he got exactly what he deserves. And I hope when he comes back to the play, uh, play the Angels later in the year. I hope we have that same intensity and boom just as much. As far as Shauna well, I thought he got done really dirty. Again, if the game is over with you know whether it's 24 hours after, that's it. You should not be able to go back to last year's game, last week's game, two nights ago and say, "Hey, you know what? We missed something." No, 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 no. The official scorecard is long closed. It's over. You can't adjust anything else. That's BS. So I think either someone hates the Angels or they are just really not wanting to do to And again, it's not like it's a New York Yankee that holds the record or a Boston Red Sox or an L.A. Dodger that holds the record. It was a Seattle freaking Mariner, Alvin Davis, a guy that nobody knows outside of Seattle. Yet we're going to we're going to take the record that Sean Wells make. I mean, that that really sucks. I really thought he got screwed big time on that one. Mateo says, I just got home from work, by the way. That's a working man. Love beating Boston. We are talking about rivalries uh, last night, and as it relates to playoff foes, Red Sox uh, definitely a hated playoff rival. There you go. And I forgot about that, Michael, and I should know better because one of my first memories is my dad freaking out and being pissed on Dave Henderson's home run to 
uh, keep the Red Sox alive. And my dad's, and I remember my dad saying after games, after game five, I mean, was we're not winning in Boston. I remember that distinctively. And he called it before they even went to uh, freaking Boston. So yeah, we've had, and we've had other series where Guerrero won that one in, in Fenway and they, they beat the Red Sox there. So yeah, we, I think we've had more of rivalry games in the postseason, obviously against Boston. So I would take that one. Balls, balls is low. You're extremely, uh, your sound is extremely quiet. Yeah, I got to fix that, Dan. Also, uh, will you be making Todd Fox show t-shirts? I really like the graphic. Uh, I appreciate all the good content. Keep up the good work. You know, T Shane, I think, I don't know if you're talking about the one in the corner. Or if, because uh, we do have some other Todd Fox stuff, uh, but for the most part, I, I'm pretty sure at the end of this month we'll have some shirts going because I'm trying to make them for my crime stuff too. So if we get that going, we'll have them. We'll have Halos in the infield merchandise, some hats, the Heaty logo, you know, the NWO style. I like that one a lot. We gave a lot of those away last year, so we're looking to recoup a little bit of that. But uh, we'll have some more logos to sell the damn T-shirt. This is going to probably be popular no matter if this team wins or loses. Everybody hates Artie Moreno. Uh, let's see. Todd, can I send you what Randazzo said? Yes, you can. Um, let's see. My phone's not uh, working right now, so like I'm charging it. That's what, the other thing that sucks. Silent E says, home runs are great, but we saw tonight was awesome. Not only did we get to see small ball get the win, but I got to laugh when the Red Sox to, uh, laugh at the Red Sox to make it even better. Absolutely, when the Red Sox go down, it makes my day. Believe me, I was very impressed with what Rendezzo said. Now I want to hear it. my honk is honking tonight. Alex says, <laughs> just don't do it in public. Uh, let's see. Hey, clown Todd, honk that horn. Show me your honk. Show me your honk. Well, the, the, the balls, balls, and if you're looking for sound bites, Anna and Grillmaster, I, they're too low tonight. So, again, I'm working on the soundboard. I at least got the soundboard up to work with the system. I just need to adjust it somehow with the volume because I thought it was just using this. If you can see what I see, I have a whole screen full of my soundboard stuff and then the third-party app, which is this, it's called Banana. And I tried to put the, the, the gain up, and that's not working. So I'll, I'll have to fix it somehow i just don't know how it's gonna work and i'll I'll, t I'll test it out i'll try to have it done by tomorrow's post game because tomorrow's post game again you had to wait like an hour and i appreciate everybody on right now but tomorrow i'm gonna be on like five to ten minutes after it's just when i go to games depending on traffic getting home whatnot it just takes a while and then plus i packed up a lot of shit tonight uh we were barbecuing and stuff so my car was full MLB is a circus. Also, shit, Mateo stole my line. Uh, let's see. Bourbon Baseball says, why the F are you dressed as a clown? Because I like to make fun of the uh, the Halo Honks, which is another side of this uh, franchise that uh, that just says grass is always greener. Always got to be positive. Got to stay positive and try to, try to just look at the brighter side of things. No, you, you don't do that. What you do is you're a realist, and if the team's good, you praise them like we've been doing tonight. If the team sucks and you paid your good hard money for them to go over, strike out 30,000 times, and and you, you got to see Artie Moreno's ugly mug, yeah, you want to boo. You can boo. There's nothing wrong with it. Just because you boo a player one night and cheer him the next is not a bad thing. I'm tired of these halo honks considering – the fact that they're always saying, well, you shouldn't boo anyone that wears our jersey. Okay, so if a guy sucked the life out of our franchise for, what, three to four years already and Anthony Rendon done absolutely nothing for us, and it's it's one of the reasons why Artie justifies not spending in other places, absolutely, he's the problem. He's one of the biggest problems that this franchise is having. I mean, there's only one bigger problem that this franchise deals with, and that's Artie Moreno. Other than that, it's freaking Anthony Rendon. So Anthony Rendon, we see him almost nightly. For some reason, still leading off. So yes, you have every right to boom. And yes, if you don't boom, I'm not going to call you out for it. You have every right to cheer, boo, all you want. But those halo honks always come back at us. And it's like, no, no, no. If we're allowing you to cheer, you allow us to boo. Like, leave us the hell alone. Don't make it personal. If we don't like the guy, we don't have to like him. Some people love Tim Salmon. Some people don't. And he's he's Mr. Angel. It's so again, people are allowed to have their opinions. Like me having my opinion, maybe to totally different from what you believe or what what your opinion is, and that's fine. That's why it's good to get into discussion. 
And that's why it never works out with Red Sox fans, Dodgers fans, or Yankee fans because they don't think that way. They just think, I'm right, you're wrong, and I'm drunk. And that's how it is. But uh, we're, we're different. I mean, at least we can talk things out. Balls, balls, and Anthony Rendon's luck, Anna says. Also, Todd, did you drive home? No, I did not drive home. As toasted as I am, you think I drove home? Hell no. I drive for a living. I want to keep my license, and I don't want a DUI. So it's you never drive home drunk. You always have a designated driver. And my girl doesn't like to drink, so you're my DH, babe. And so she she takes she takes care of me, and I am blessed. So I there's no way. And even if I did it. Have somebody, I'd Uber home. I'd take the damn train because I'm like down the street from the damn Metrolink anyway. So I encourage everybody to have a designated driver, take the freaking train because I'm buzzed. I ain't lying. I'm buzzed. I've been drinking since three. So, you know, and I barely stopped when we left the damn parking lot. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Also, MLB's commissioner is an asshat. He sure is. Uh, Dell sucks. Uh, hashtag Sivalis. After the air, Dever, Devers had emotional damage. I, like I said, I don't have the, the sound bites tonight, so you guys can call for them, but it ain't going to work. I like Est uh, SD's new celebration from Dragon Ball Z. That is, uh, if I knew Dragon Ball Z, I would applaud that. But um, unfortunately, Mateo, I, I'm not a Dragon Ball Z guy. I know it was very popular back in the day, and it started when I was out of high school. But I never got into it because it was just too many close-ups, and to me, not enough stuff happened. So it was—I I didn't get it. I didn't. Never been a Dragon Ball Z guy. Crowd sounded fired up uh, on the radio. Felt like they were on the top of their game. Yeah, they did. They were, it was a good crowd tonight. Anna says, "Hey, James, didn't that home run tonight? But I did uh, need some con uh, content. Show me that grand slam from King O'Hoppy. Oh yeah, he's gonna be playing that like crazy. James, play the home runs. If not, can you get a my line like all these people who write negative comments? Just put positive." Balls, balls, and good managerial decisions. Anna likes that. Apparently, Tory Hunter told uh, Erica Weston that he would uh, be in the dugout. He was tonight. That's for damn sure. Also, I passed an infinity stone. Oh, Jeez, balls, balls, and whoppers. Shane Bieber is uh is having Tommy John. Yeah, everyone wanted him. I kind of did too. I ain't gonna lie, but Shane Bieber is uh is on his way to a year and a half rehabilitation because of that Tommy John. So hopefully, speedy recovery for him. But that's gonna take a while. Uh, we didn't send a ball to Drury Lane tonight, but we can praise Rendon for getting a hit. That was not a hit. That was an error. Uh, let's see, dance is better your ass than your uh, dingle mat. <laughs> uh, let's see, Cole Studio says, I think I saw someone taking a dump near the exit. Someone call personnel. <laughs> also, I had Shane Bieber on my fantasy team. Oh, there you go. Red Sox fans are the chowder heads. DFA, the scoreboard keepers for keep changing the Shawnawell streak. Also, Ron Washington likes a no bullshit type manager. He sure is. Uh, also, Anna says, is it fair that to say that next week we're shipping up to Boston? Yes, we are. Fun fact, Grillmaster Tony Randazzo is the second bad umpire in the game. If what last name, if his last name sounds familiar, Wayne um, brought this up last night. They are cousins. Oof, that's not good. Houston had a problem tonight again. Balls, balls, and for Shohei, for a Shohei, uh, yes, he's still for a not allowed to uh, because he's on the Dodgers. Hey, Todd, I sent you the comments made by Randazzo to the MLB. Balls, balls, and MLB sucks. Hey, are we in second place behind Texas? I believe so. Texas has got off to a very good start. The world champions. It's hard for me to say that because Texas was a team I just did not see in my lifetime winning the World Series. But – Kudos to them for getting the manager, Bochi, because that dude is, is man, he's a, he's fire, dude. Oh, the water tastes so good. Also, uh, balls, balls, and the MLB Vendetta versus the Angels. Mateo says Otani is apparently facing a year-long suspension, possibly longer. Well, that look, let's just say Otani gets a 50-game suspension or less. Either way, Otani is going to be – ridiculed by road teams like he always already was in Chicago. They were making fun of his gambling and he'll be tainted. And this is from a guy again. Everyone was like, oh, this, we've never seen this before. True. We've never seen the guy put up stats on both sides. True. What is false is to see to, to have fans say he's a surefire Hall of Famer. How? 
two out of six seasons, he's been legitimately healthy. What about those other four seasons? And you can lump season seven, which is this season, into a, a not totally healthy Otani. He still can't pitch. And for a guy who's under 500, I, th- I believe, or, or he's, he's just over 500 in pitching, part of that's the Angels' fault. But, again, what Hall of Fame numbers do you got? You're doing some crazy cr- crap. I get it. But <laughs> we've seen guys go on four-year runs, five-year runs. It's not all that common. So who's to say that he's a freaking, you know, Hall of Famer? Uh, Cole says, who the hell is Alvin Davis? Uh, well, a rookie that had that record. Uh, let's see. I know something about Alvin Davis. I looked him up the other day. He was uh, he was on the All Star team from eighty four to ninety. Again, he was unknown because Seattle was so bad back then. Uh, how is Papa Fox feeling right now? He's cautiously optimistic. He's he's like me, taking it one game at a time. Mark Lanniston said on the radio that it was Mount Castle of the Orioles who complained to the MLB. Oh, geez. Well, another reason when Baltimore comes to town to boom Mount Castle. Can you put the Rend- what Rendon said on the show? Uh, it's on fa- fascist book. <laughs> uh, I'm, I can barely do what I'm doing right now. So asking me to do more is, uh, <laughs> is hard to do right now. I wish I could all have it for tomorrow. Hey says ways uh Wayne is going viral right now Todd Fox you should go to the live reaction would be dope. Uh the soundboard fart sound uh or Pac-Man dying. Uh let's see also where did you find the time to dye all your hair miss the chestnut color or Auburn highlights. I actually got some green on my beard too. Uh with Trevor on the IL for Boston the story for him is unfortunately very short like something else he has oh my goodness. Uh, are you as drunk as Artie? And that's that's not possible. That's not possible. Let me know uh, for a ride. I do Uber. Thank you, Johnny. Also, Steve Lee says, I like my life too. I'm not ready to give up. Uh, Brian says, uh, I was ready. I was going to dress up as Anthony Rendon for Halloween, but when I looked in the mirror, I looked like a bitch. <laughs> oh, by, the run, by the way, Rendon is ass. Mookie bets on games. I get that one. Also, any fights uh, out there tonight? No, there was there was uh, quite a few, though, on opening night. That's for sure. Balls, balls, and sweeping the major league issues under the rug. Uh, who Shohei? Never heard of her, Anna says. Also, uh, what was pa- Papa Fox saying after this game? Again, he was just excited that they got so many strikeouts and they're getting good pitching. Because overall, the, without, without the first two games, take those games out of it, uh, the first two games, the Angels – didn't pitch good at all as a squad. And ever since then, take out what Soriano did the other night, and that's been the only low light. It's been pretty good pitching all the way through. Hell, even Suarez threw up a zero. Hope Artie calls in. I have to see what, if he does or not. Uh, April is the toughest month of the season, in my opinion. We have two trips to the East Coast. Also, Demetrio says Otani uh, going to get up uh, being – wait, wait, he's going to – End up being that ex girlfriend that turned into a hoe. <laughs> it got it went to, got an Arby's. <laughs> That's nasty. He's talking about beef curtains. Oh, Johnny says, man. As soon as he went uh, to the other side, if the five, his life took a major shit. But hey, orle Dodgers, Doyers, orle Doyers, I love it. <laughs> you guys are killing it. Grillmaster said, "I dress up like Anthony Rendon, but the problem is that I'd have to what is it? Uh, have to lap off my, take off my testes and appendages." And I'd have to have water in my system that breaks every hour. Oh, God. <sighs> there you go. Um, man, I wish I had these sound bites going. But for whatever reason, like I said, this uh, the volume is really, really low. And it should be very high. So I don't know why the hell it's like that. But I will, uh, again, get this. I will get this the way it's supposed to be at some point. At some point, we will get this volume up because I could play this one again, and I just – it's so low, I, and I, I have it on full blast on here. So I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. But there you go. Um, so, again, if uh, 
<laughs> try Stukas anyway. Uh, let me see. I'll, I'll try Stukas. Let's see. I, I got since I ran into Dan tonight. Let's see if I can get it here. Uh, here we go. Let's see if you guys can hear this one. See, even that's low, dude. Hold on. It's the preview here. Let's fast forward right here. See, it's kind of low. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I Again, I'd need another night to work on this. It took me a little bit this morning. I had so much to do. I couldn't get to everything. But I was too busy trying to get my food on. And I made some killer-ass burgers. Shout out to everybody that uh, was around us. It was really good. Uh, also, Moreno is a balloon nut, Moon Man says. Well, if we get Artie Moreno to call in, uh, that would be amazing. If you guys want to call in, and hopefully you guys sound good. Hopefully your sound is not off. Uh, I could try that, and hopefully we can have uh, better audio. But we'll see. Um, <laughs> it might be an adventure. Let's just say that it might be an adventure. I could I could try this other stuff. Let's see. Can you still hear me now? Let's see if I can get a little bit louder here. That's still the same. God damn it. I don't know. We'll see. If I can get the volume a little bit louder, might be. Uh, can you hear that? Can you hear the sound? Can you hear the song now? So that's loud. That's good. All right. So if that's if that's good, then maybe let's see if this works. Maybe I finally finish this shit. Emotional damage. Do we have emotional damage or is it good? Did I just fix it drunk? Smart thinking. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Fuck yeah! Woo! All right. That's what I call a win. So, <laughs> yes, it worked. So, I do know something about something. All right, that works. Okay. So, if you guys want to call in the show, 90 seconds only phone calls, no exceptions, unless you're Arnie Moreno. 714-598. 3221 that is the number to call if you want to call the show and talk to me drunken fox as halo says because uh oh shit here we go, go again. again all right and then we need to we need to find out what roger lodge really wants i was pretty cocky i want balls and balls and john stamos yep he wants john stamos and then uh <laughs> let's see um we we left the Red Sox with this. <laughs> yes. We were very happy. And that air by Devers was a... Yeah, he was definitely a nacho night tonight, man. I love it. I love the fact they blew it. And it's seven one four tickets, seven one four tickets. Oh, do we have the rot? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I gotta bring back this one, Grill. And of course, I was pretty. No, it's not that one. The best looking guy to ever walk the face of the earth, John Stamos. John Stamos. Let's see what this one. John Stamos choked on me. There you go. <laughs> I haven't heard that one since last year. John Stamos choked on me. <laughs> That's disgusting, Roger. You are disgusting. Oh wait, there was an Ohapi home run last night. And the first two games, this soundbite doesn't sound this this soundbite really epitomizes the last two nights. The Angels lost last night, they win tonight. So what does Charlie Sheen think the Angels do? I'm by winning. I win here and I win there. Exactly. <laughs> we're we're by winning. So tomorrow is the the game that's gonna either see if we're losing or we're a winning team because we're by winning. We're we're in between both of them. And you, you could tell right now I'm just playing sound bites, but I miss this commercial since they don't play it no more. Because last year we had this one. Accident. 
Call Jacob, and then we had this one. Build your own munchie meal, or try mine, only at Jack in the Box. That looks good on you, Miach. Miach, but I do miss this one right here. Whopper, 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 whopper. I miss the whopper, whopper, whopper. Uh, let's see. How about we're going streaking? We need another win, so that's when we can get it. So this is what we need for to get on a winning streak, so we could play that one. All right, you guys, let's listen up. We won a game yesterday. If we win one today, that's two in a row. Yep. We win one tomorrow. That's called a winning streak. Exactly. That's what we need. It was a winning streak right there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I think Mateo's right on that one. The circus music goes for the uh, the what is it called? The MLB for changing that call. <laughs> And that's what I rolled up to today with that song, for sure. Uh, I rolled up there. I just can't bring my honk inside, which sucks. Uh, is Roger riding his bike down Catala? Nope. Let's see. Johnny says, Todd, you should get uh, you should get the Bob Ross sound bite when he points, when he gets the paintbrush and says, now you're going to beat the devil out of it <laughs> when we sweep the teams. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Let's get into, oh, hold on. We need this one, too. Call me a boot-licking house man all you want. I don't give a damn. Don't go to sleep on my halos in 2023. It's going to be one heck of a year for Angels baseball. He's saying that one too. T. Shane says, did the Angels raise the prices at concessions again? A, a tad. Not as bad as last year. A tad. Uh, also, uh, ball four, ball eight, ball 12. How are they li laying off of pitches like that? That would be, let's see, I color-coded these two, and I'm, I'm seeing double. So uh, where is that one? Uh, hold on. It's not this one. Oh, here we go. Ball four, ball eight. Low, and Vaughn has walked the bases loaded on 12 straight pitches. Boy, how can these guys lay off pitches that close? There you go. Demetrio says, you are, uh, you know who I looked like back then, Peter Borges. Really, Demetrio? I would not uh, have picked that one up right there. Coach Brown is quiet. Uh, I got good size WAPA for you. There you go. Uh, let's see. Also, one more loss. One more loss that could have been a win. Drink some more clown juice. Uh, Grillmaster says, Todd, you need to add some of those dramatic SpongeBob uh, effects right there. Uh, I do have this one, though, which I love. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Uh, Angels are 6-4. and four. Playoff bound, baby. Playoffs? Who's talking about playoffs? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. You kidding me? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, hey, we get a win tonight. And we get an extra man, so we get to play tomorrow. And let let me look at the rotation. I want to look at here. Let's see. Uh, projected uh, rotations for the pitchers here for tomorrow. For the closeout, I know Silset's going for us. Uh, I just forget who's going for Boston. Uh, it's going to be Tanner Hawk. Tanner Hawk. Uh, he is a right-handed pitcher. Uh, he goes tomorrow for the Boston Red Sox. Last year, he was a... Uh, well, we got a phone call. It's the Halo Honk line. Hey, Todd. Oh, my God. Is it Artie? I ain't talking to you about your drinking problem. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I got, I got to get your volume up real quick because your volume is low. I can, I can hear that right out the gate. Yelling's not helping, buddy. Oh. Hold on. Let me let me, cha let me change the audio. As soon as I get the audio up, then we'll we'll be good. Todd, give me your hand. Can you hear me now? <laughs> are you are you there now? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, hold on. I'm just Try to get it up right here. That's what she said. Hold on. <laughs> I made you laugh and nobody could hear you. <laughs> can 
You're getting the hoopla, but they're missing it. So that's a problem. Try it again. Can you? Can they hear Artie? Can you guys hear Artie at all? Maybe if I sing. You could try singing. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Hey, this is professional. That's all I got to This is professional. Nettomania says, do you always dress like this? No, this is, this is me being the halo honk on special occasions going to your stadium. He says very, very quiet. He could barely hear you. Like right now, uh, I'm a. Cl- oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn. 